Hey guys, okay, so I know this was a very touchy um, title that you read. I haven't written a title yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty catchy. And if I remember um, how to word it the correct way so that people will understand, I can't make it too long. I can, but I'd rather have it as short and detailed as possible so that whenever you think of me or think about the video or whatever, you'll be able to understand that the title was as short and detailed and as descriptive as possible. <laughs> um, stay away from white people as much as you can. And this is not to scare you. This is not a thing that I'm meaning like literal, but yeah, it is kind of literal. I know that there are some white people out there. You really can't help but be around them. But actually, if you think about it, you know, you can live your life and not deal with white people. You can live your life and not ever see them again. You like literally you can you can stay in your community and not have to worry about them. You know, you don't have to carry conversation. You don't have to, you know, ask them for anything. I mean, you know, um, you know, things happen. But we, when we come to our own brothers and sisters and start engaging within our own black community, when when I'm not going to say if I'm going to say when when we start engaging with our own people and building up a, a relationship and start, um, you know, having more um, uh, resources within our own mindsets because we're already smart. We don't need other white people to tell us to do this and do that, to start a business or do anything. Because at the end of the day, black people needed us. They need us, okay, because we built everything, okay? Without blacks, there would be no whites. We were the first race here on earth. So that's one thing that people fail to remember we were the first race here on earth so why would they not say that we're gods blacks would say we're gods but white people won't say that we're god the racist people won't and um and sadly the white people has brainwashed african americans for so long that black people don't want it some black people don't want to hear us say anything about the white man or the white woman because they feel as if we're being racist and we're not giving them a chance. But we have been waiting for that chance for years through Jim Crow, through slavery, through all the civil rights movements. It's gone over 200 years now, you guys, o over 300 years. Okay, and we continue to give white people the second chance and then what? It gets nowhere. Then you're right back in square one having racial problems again. You're fired on your job. You don't know why you're not getting paid for your hard work as, as much as you feel like you should be getting paid for. You don't know why your community is um, lacking with services because it's a beer corner here, a beer corner there, and, you know, everything's run down, you know. Everything starts off from the white man, no matter what you do or how you put it, okay? And people who are, who, excuse me, who were in power before are no longer in power. So now all of the information that blacks wanted to know is now being delivered and we are waking up and starting to realize, hey, we were the first race here on earth. How did we end up like this being the one of the most, you know, needing people, you know? Well, because the white man took us from our ancestors from Africa, enslaved not only Africans, but other races and made America their place and made a place for different races to be. But white, white people wanted to be superior. So whether you've experienced a racism situation that you know of or think you know of or not, you are being racially profiled every single day because they've been doing it, doing it before. Everyone who's alive now was alive. And that's the thing. If someone, excuse me, when, when someone, which is happening now, when someone finds out the most brightest master plan in the world, which is to take out all of the white supremacists and destroy them, and we don't have to do anything. Actually, yeah, we do. Okay. But what the white people fail to teach us 
that we are now, remember I told you, all the information is starting to come out now and more black people are starting to wake up because the information that's starting to wake us up had been hidden from us so that we wouldn't wake up and conquer the white people and blacks would take over because it's all ours anyway. We just can no longer be slaves and allow them to take over. They're managing. This is their corporation, their business. No, we built all that. Y'all will be nothing without us. Nothing. If what without blacks, white people wouldn't have nothing. So if you don't want, excuse me. So for those who desire to to not experience racial things again, that's going to, because that is enough experience for someone to change their mind and to have the mind made up to deal or to not deal and the repeating process of 300 years of racism and it's still going on do you really think you want to be around another white person because what they're doing is they're trying to okay white people already know who we are that's why they're calling us aliens they know who we are they know we were the first race here on earth they know that there was life on Mars when NASA went and explored life on them on Mars. How did they know it was water, water, anything that has water means that there's life there. Life is there present. They knew there was something twisted, but they knew that the images that they saw on, on Mars and, and on other planets, the life that they hid from us, that they've experienced, they kept from us. And the um, United States government and the Secret Service kept certain information from us so that we won't look up. Because once an African American finds out that he's been in slavery and he's been mistreated, and then you give him his education about what he was meant to be, it's a wrap. But now it's over. So... I start off the video by saying, don't want to, you know, upset anyone, um, but you have to stay away from white people as much as you can now. Okay. Yes, there are some white people demonstrating, you know, really good characteristics. Yes, they're really, there, there are, um, but that was the trick that white, that, excuse me, that African-Americans failed to see, even though they presented themselves as friendly no matter what even though they even though you may share some of your your stories with a white person even though you have a white person living with you some of you may have children with them you know but this is a time now to not try to integrate Okay, because we tried to integrate and our ancestors died even through the civil rights movement. We know slavery was a mess. Okay, civil rights movement was a mess. Even today, people are still trying to figure out, you know, why isn't racism ending when we are capable enough of knowing how to get rid of the racist people? You know, this was not, you know, this is newer, newer age. And sure enough, we were not, some of us wasn't educated enough to know that blacks don't really have to do anything because science was taken from us, the knowledge of science and how it will destroy the people who are racist. Now, that seems absurd. It seems like that's not even going to happen. What we were stolen from was knowledge, information, and the ability to know what we are capable of doing and what nature is capable of doing because nature knows all things god is nature okay we are gods and goddesses okay now the nature of things is something that the white people and some people of, of color don't understand because of the education they haven't taught us everything We don't have to really do anything but play our part and stay with our own people. Stop fighting and arguing with black people. They love white people love to see that. Even other black people love to see it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just think about how much power and how much conquer we would have when we stick together. Does it matter if that person is that white person is cool with your friend and you ain't talking to them? 
that white person is still around y'all. You see, we are, black people are so unique and creative. Not saying that any other race isn't, but we are so unique and creative. Okay. We can gather up our own people, have a barbecue or a cookout, or just go to the store together. And you always got to see a white person, you know, they may be cool with some of the white black people in your bunch or your family or something, but they, they do just like, they tend to come around, but why? Because they see something that you have that, you know, they really like, but in a world where, um, um, Blacks are discriminated against. Why would a white person who is privileged enough want to be around someone who is having difficulties um, uh, getting themselves established or in a in a place that you know they should be, which is their own owners, their own um, money makers, and we are our own owners, our own money makers. We are everything. We can do everything. And so now you start to see either a white person you know, get with a mate with a black person or a white person, you know, start picking up black characteristics. You're not saying that African-Americans don't pick up white characteristics or anything like that. Trust me. <laughs> you know, you can see me a little bit, but no, literally, you know, that's something that needs to be spoken and, and this needs to be taken serious, you guys. Time is up. We had years of trying to integrate, but it was segregation. And now after the civil rights movement has ended and the Rosa Parks thing is gone, we're still dealing with racism. Like we like we literally needed to have a Black Lives Matter movement for over four or five months in order for people to see that things are still happening, you know? So the reason why I say stay away from white people is because they're trying to get a ticket to be on our side because there's a shift, a power shift, and everyone who is, was racist are being replaced by people of color and we don't even have to do anything because now what they were telling us that they never told us before where they have but they haven't really been explaining it to us um even i myself was a little bit late about this but i had no idea how much the universe can have an effect on people's minds and the ability to wake certain people up because of the amount of rays and energies that the universe provides is, a, is another way of saying you can't run from mother nature, you know? So knowing that white people knew this information that the, the atmosphere, the, the universe, the planets, the galaxies, the things in the within the universe plays a part on how people act and think. I had no idea. I just thought that you know, and me and other people, are pretty sure was it's like the same. You know, thinking about the same thing. Um, so that's my reason why um, you can't control Mother Nature. So whether you want to say you know we're superior, we're on top, we're going to come together. Let's uh, let's just stick together. Let's not separate. No, we gave you years of, of coming together. And now because of the universe is destroying the cells, the membrane, and the ability for people to think, and it's destroying the, the rhythm of how people feel about different things. Now you're going to get the sleep people awakened because of the universe, and now more people are waking up. Yes, still things in the media helping us wake up and things like that. That's why I'm talking. I'm sharing my story because I'm helping other people wake up because I was asleep. If someone did not wake me up, I would have been at work standing on my feet working for a boss, like or thinking it was normal. It's not normal. That's the new slavery. You're supposed to be doing whatever you want to do, not what your boss tell you to do or society say, go to church, school, work, go to sleep, come home, go to church, work, school, go to sleep, come home. No, you are black. 